Hi, I sure hope you had a great Tuesday. Didn't see a whole lot of activity Tuesday, but still talking about the threat for some spotty showers and thunderstorms overnight tonight and maybe even through the day tomorrow, at which point some of those could become strong to severe. So tonight, some scattered showers and thunderstorms, especially as we get closer to the sunrise hour per one model guidance. A few afternoon showers and thunderstorms that could become strong to severe if they do really develop. I think they have the potential there. But the main event comes through tomorrow night into Thursday morning. That's going to bring us damaging wind, large hail, flash flood the risk, along with some isolated tornadoes. And then some nice quieter weather as we wrap up the week and head into the upcoming weekend. So we still have that level one, level two risk for some isolated strong thunderstorms. We had a, uh, a cluster of thunderstorms coming in out of Huntsville, Alabama into Chattanooga, and then they kind of weakened and died down. But it's not over yet. There's significant weather to our north, and that may help to spark off more showers and thunderstorms as we get closer to the morning commute and through about the late morning hours. Some of those could become strong to severe, and we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a moment. Morning lows uh, drop down into the 60s, so a mild start to the day, but could be a little stormy for some of us. We start off in the 60s and 70s, but we'll warm into the low to mid 80s. That's fuel to the fire. And speaking of which, we're going to continue to talk about those storms as they race their way into the area. The Storm Prediction Center has expanded the level three risk for severe storms around East Tennessee. So we're under a level three risk for most of East Tennessee. When you break it down, there is a tornado risk. Uh, the greatest risk is going to be across the northern and the western sections of East Tennessee, the northern plateau, uh, where they have a significant tornado risk expected. Uh, so tornadoes, or at least tornadoes, warnings are likely in that location, but the possibility of some large damaging hail, ping pong to maybe golf ball size hail is possible. And we also have that risk for significant hail, but damaging wind is also going to be on the table along with that flood and flash flood risk. We've got a lot of energy and potential for rotating thunderstorms as we head through the day on Wednesday. Uh, not too bad for the first part of the day, but that rotation potential really starts to ramp up as we get past dinner and into bedtime and during the overnight hours. And that's when we have that line of severe storms that is expected to swing its way on through. We have a lot of instability or buoyancy in the atmosphere. Now, while we'll have that throughout the day on Wednesday, it will start to fade as we get into Wednesday night, Thursday morning. But just because that fades away does not mean that we won't see severe storms because we've got a lot of wind shear in the atmosphere. So rotating supercell thunderstorms are all a possibility. All categories are in the high category except for tornadoes. That's in the medium category because it is possible. Isolated localized flooding and flash flooding, hail over one inch in diameter, and winds gusting greater than 60 miles per hour. So all severe threats are on the table. Table. Here's your future cast. Let's start your clock off uh, first thing in the morning on Wednesday. Again, a cluster of showers and thunderstorms are possible. But as we head through the afternoon hours, that's really what we need to watch for for rotating supercell thunderstorms as the storm system is just getting started. So we've got several rounds of rain or severe storms possible. A line of severe storms are going to be moving their way through after dinner and bedtime on Wednesday night into Thursday morning. That threat's going to be with us uh, during the overnight hours. And then we transition to a heavy rain event as we go through 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 o'clock in the morning on Thursday. So it is going to be a rather stormy next 36 hours around East Tennessee. So have a way to receive weather information. Download the East Tennessee Weather app. It's easy to do so. Just go to the Google Play Store or the App Store and search East TN Weather, all one word. Like I said, very heavy rainfall. Area-wide, maybe two, three inches of rainfall. Pockets of four, five, and six cannot be ruled out, especially if you get storms to fire over the same location over and over again. As the cold front swings its way on through, we'll decrease that risk for severe weather, uh, but it still is present Thursday into early Friday. And that elevated flash flood risk is there by the Weather Prediction Center as we get into our Wednesday Thursday, and then we begin to see improving conditions on into our Friday. If you happen to have travel plans around the region, this is the latest by the Storm Prediction Center, level one, two, and three risk for severe storms. And then as it shifts its way to the south, the Gulf Coast and the southeastern coastline from Thursday into Friday. Quick check of the big picture weather pattern. You can really see the evolution of this storm system as it takes shape here over the next 24 to 36 hours. As a strong, powerful cold front swings into the area, a lot of energy in the atmosphere to produce the severe storms. It's been a long time since we've seen a storm system like this, so make sure, again, to have a way to receive weather information. Good news is, as this storm system begins to die down, uh, temperatures will cool down as we get into the upcoming weekend. It's going to be a nice weekend, actually, with temps in the 70s under partly cloudy skies 
Not too terribly cold when it comes to low temperatures. We'll be down to 48 degrees on Saturday. So once again, go to the Google Play Store, the App Store, Roku TV, Amazon Fire, YouTube. Join me on social media. We will be doing live with severe weather updates throughout the day and into the evening and early overnight hours. You can watch them from your cell phones, the tablets, your computer with EastTNWeather.com or, of course, Roku TV, Amazon Fire, and also, uh, and yeah, also Roku TV. I think I said that. Either way you slice it and dice it, make sure you stay on top of the weather situation as we head through the day on Wednesday. We'll ju- see you bright, er- bright and early for Wake Up With Witcher starting at 7 o'clock in the morning for a live weather update and some coffee talk. And then we'll be transitioning to that severe weather threat and live severe weather coverage throughout the day on Wednesday into Wednesday night and Thursday morning. Have a wonderful and safe night. I hope to see you back here soon.